What's up guys welcome to today's video and um, today we're talking about how to improve Madden Ultimate Team for Madden 15. Um, guys you know Madden 25 is a great season I started to get into Ultimate Team a little bit uh, I started to find out some things and, 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 and really just enjoyed the game a lot this year uh, and tried to just learn how to play Madden Ultimate Team and I learned a couple things along the way. I've shared some shared some tips. I've, I've shared some uh, strategies for getting better. Uh, but now I want to kind of give you guys my wish list and my kind of my thought process of what I would like to see changed in Madden Ultimate Team. Uh, because if this is going to be the mode for the future, which I mean everything points to it being the mode. Uh, I mean you have over you have two or three websites with over you know ten fifteen thousand users within a month, and these websites were open. Uh, these guys, uh, you know, they were open, opening these websites in January and February, and they had still that much much success. So, you know, I think Madden Ultimate Team is definitely what you know, kind of the future of the game. And uh, I'm going to be doing a couple of different things uh, for next season when Madden Ultimate Team comes out. I wanted to present those to you real quick before we got into the video. One of the things that I'm going to be doing is Mutt News. Uh, this week, it, it, I don't know what I'm going to call it, but it's basically going to be like this week in Madden Ultimate Team. It's going to be a weekly kind of lineup, maybe five to ten minute video, basically talking about kind of the news for the Madden Ultimate Team, kind of some of the new cards that's come out, some of the new features, all that stuff, because Madden Ultimate Team is always evolving and changing. Uh, typically, that will be with one of my uh, you know head-to-head -head season games or whatever. Uh, so, so hopefully you'll enjoy that. Um, Next thing that I wanted to uh, be doing with my Ultimate Team in um, in 2015 is I'm going to be talking a lot more about tips and how to get better. Uh, I'm going to show you know how to make coins, how to complete solo challenges, how to complete collections, uh, how to do all that stuff. So you guys can stay tuned for that. Uh, and, and that's kind of going to be what I, you know what I do with Madden Ultimate Team. I think that's going to be plenty of content for you. You're gonna you know it, you may be doing some giveaways. It depends on how much time I have on my hands to actually get the cards uh, to be able to give them away. But uh, you know I don't want to I don't want to just you know give give stuff away you know because I don't want people to subscribe to my channel just so they can get stuff you know I want them to subscribe to my channel because they like my content so giveaways is kinda of something down the road I uh, might be doing something like with my ebooks that I sell where if you buy an ebook you get a free muck code or you get you know or you know if if you if you maybe buy an ebook and one of the ebooks there'll be a free like 99 overall player or something like that um, but that's just kinda of future stuff but uh, as far as Madden Ultimate Team, one of the the top five ways to improve Madden Ultimate Team in for Madden 15, uh, number one, is make playing games uh, matter. And what I mean by that is, head-to-head -head seasons are great, and I like the I like the kind of the format. What I don't quite understand is how they really just don't mean anything. And uh, it's almost like playing head-to-head. -head. I mean, all you get from it is coins. I mean, even if you win the Super Bowl, you really don't get a whole lot. I mean, yeah, you get some packs, you get some coins, and everything's gravy, but there's really no reason to go play a head-to-head -head season when you could just play, you know, a head-to-head -head game with your friend or your head-to-head. -head. So I would just like to see it matter just a little bit more, you know. Maybe maybe do something where, like, you know, if you complete, like if you complete a season, then that ranks you up, and so that ranking will uh, match you up because, I mean, it does do that, but I don't know. I just would like to see it a little bit improved. I would just like to see a little bit more motivation towards me playing a game as opposed to me just sitting on the auction block all day. Uh, I'm a guy that's more so on gameplay, so I guess that's kind of why I would like to see that improve. Um, another thing that I would like to see improve in Madden Ultimate Team is I feel like they are uh, overdoing the coin thing, and I think that they need to kind of reduce that a little bit. Um, I don't think that there should be a... I don't think that you should have to buy your playbook. I don't think that you should have to buy contracts. I don't think contracts should even be in the game. Uh, I just I don't really like that uh, because it's just more of a it's more of a hassle than anything. It's really not something that would you know categorize it as a, a great feature for the mode. Um, that's just my opinion. Obviously, you know it can be disputed, but that's what I think. I think that the contracts and the playbooks and Stuff like that should be free. I think you should have to buy your head coach. I think you should have to buy your uniforms. 
I think, you know, because that stuff is fun, that stuff's unique, and, and it's not as much of a hassle, but, you know, when you have guys that just don't have a lot of coins, but they're really good, you know, they may get screwed because they're not being able to use the playbook that they've been using all year, um, but that's just kind of my take on that. Um, the third thing that I would like to see change in Madden Ultimate Team for Madden 25 is I would like to see a little bit more reasonable, re, uh, reasonable avenues with the collections. Uh, collections are kind of like they're good to do and I like the fact that you get something for doing them so that makes people more apt to do them. But at the same time, I don't necessarily think that they're I think that they could improve a little bit more than they are uh, because they just – it's so hard to do some of them. Now, obviously, yes, the reward is worth the, worth the work, but make it just a little bit more doable for the casual player who doesn't really – you know, grasp the game as well and doesn't really know how to do Madden Ultimate Team as well. Make it just a little bit uh, simpler. And then uh, the number four thing I'd like to see in Madden Ultimate Team for Madden 15 is I would like to see the tournaments. Uh, I would like to see them open a little bit more. I love what they did with the Mutthead qualifiers. I love how it was open to everybody to play and it was free to join. Stuff like that as opposed to, you know, the Mud Invitational. I, I felt like that was a little bit more of an exclusive tournament. Um, so I don't really know how they would do it, but I just would really like to see the tournament scene of Madden Ultimate Team, if this is going to be the tournament scene, uh, make it a little bit more about talent and less about kind of who you know or whatever. I'm not saying that that's what it was all about because I don't know the whole backstory, uh, but from what I've talked with people, that's what it seems like it was about. Uh, because the best player this season, you know, I don't think anyone's going to say it differently, is Serious Mo, T Raw. And uh, a couple other guys. Those are kind of those top tier players. And, I mean, we didn't get to see them in EA Sports Mud Invitational. And that may be because of their own fault. I don't know for sure. But just from everything that I've heard, I feel like just make the tournaments a little bit more, uh, you know, open to the community. And then finally, guys, the last, the number one thing that I would like to see in Madden Ultimate Team is the ability to set your audibles. It drives me insane that you cannot set your audibles in this mode. If you could set your audibles in this mode, it would there would be no reason to play head to head. There would be no reason because you know it, and it would make it so much more funner uh, or more fun. And if this is the mode that they're going to go with, they need to allow you to set audibles. And that goes back to the whole playbook thing that I opened up with, but uh I really really believe that if they allow you to set audibles in Madden Ultimate Team, there will be no other mode to play. So I really hope that they make that adjustment, make it uh, make it able to set audibles so that you can actually have a scheme as opposed to just being spammed with strong power and buck sweep. And I hope that they do that. And if they do, then I'll be a lot more into Mutt than I am right now. But guys, this is my top five ways to improve Madden Ultimate Team. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, you may check out my channel for some more content and possibly subscribe if you like my videos. Thanks, guys.